Hey, I'm Carrick. Doesn't it seem crazy to pay so much money for a bottle of water? It is crazy, and for a lot of reasons. There has to be a more sustainable solution, right? Well, today we're in Chico, California to visit a company that has the solution. A stainless steel water bottle. Let's go drink it in. Our Renewable Nation, a cross-country eco-video adventure, is brought to you in part by Sustainable Sudbury, a chapter of the Massachusetts Climate Action Network. Today we're at Clean Canteen, a company that makes stainless steel water bottles. Hi, I'm Carrick. Hi, I'm Jeff. Welcome to Clean Canteen. Thank you. So why should people use stainless steel water bottles instead of plastic? Well, there's a number of reasons why stainless steel water bottles should be used compared to uh, your standard plastic water bottle. One being that the stainless steel has a very uh, long life cycle, which means that it's going to it's going to last a really long time. It'll outlast a, a plastic water bottle, which will ultimately lead to resource minimization because it won't need to be replaced as often. The other really cool thing about stainless steel is that it doesn't downcycle, which means it doesn't when you can when this when you re recycle this, it can be made into the exact same quality product. Whereas plastic is downcycled meaning that when it gets recycled, it can't be made into the same quality product. It's always made into a lesser quality product. Here's a crazy fact. We need to use over 17 million barrels of oil a year in order to make all those plastic water bottles for America. That's enough to fuel one million cars for a year. How many single-use plastic water bottles are sold every year? Every year in the U.S., uh, we consume uh, roughly uh, 35 billion water bottles a year. And, and out of that, about 60% of those bottles end up in the landfill. So using a reusable bottle instead of drinking out of bottled water is, can, be, can have quite an impact on the amount of plastic that ends up in our oceans and rivers and landfills. Some people say bring water from home, but sometimes home water doesn't taste good. So what do you do then? Well, I think the best thing to probably do would be to buy a water filter uh, for either your, you know, a whole house filter for so it filters all your water and all your faucets, or you can get just uh, on at at the site. Uh, filtration for any specific faucet in your house or there's even some um, filters out there that are you fill up a pitcher of water and it filters um, the water right there so you can pour it into your to-go containers. Some of the drinking water in the U.S. tastes disgusting. I'm talking about you Washington DC plus a lot more towns and cities. Come now Carrick it really can't be that bad. Honest, Abe, it's really not good. So some cities have banned using plastic water bottles. Do you think that's going to continue on all over the U.S.? I, th I think that uh, there's, there's a good likelihood that, that that may happen. I think as more and more people become made aware of some of the harmful effects on the environment that single-use beverage bottles have, um, I think that we will see in response to that more and more cities jumping on board and banning the, the, the use of single-use beverage bottles in their government facilities. I think that right now, you know, I think that there's more and more companies out there that are offering alternatives, not only to uh, the government buildings, but um, uh, to the greater public by offering um, refill stations throughout larger cities and I think that that's going to continue to grow as education uh, continues on, on, the, on the issues. Uh, so I think it's, um, I think it's a, a good step in the right direction for all of us as a society to, to um, take a second look at uh, how we consume our water. So thanks for talking with us today, Jeff. You bet. Thanks for stopping by. Glad to ha have no you guys here. No problem.
The water here is not really that bad, is it? Here, sir. Try it for yourself. Oh, that's awful. That kid is right. It tastes like recycled toilet water. Actually, sir, Carrick made another video about a city in Arizona that drinks recycled toilet water, and it tastes fine. I miss the old days.